Resilience is defined as the ability of systems, countries, regions, communities, value chains, organisations to withstand, recover from, adapt to and potentially transform amid change and uncertainty. Resilience will therefore play a crucial role in the achievement of development outcomes and in the future of development. But how can ICTs be used to build resilience of organisations, communities, regions, etc.? In this short video, I'll explain. Beyond an overall definition, what should be our model of resilience? The model I use here comes from the University of Manchester's RABBIT, the Resilience Assessment Benchmarking and Impact Toolkit. This model argues that resilience of any system, a household, a community, an organisation, etc., can be measured on the basis of eight attributes. Three are primary foundations of resilience, robustness, self-organisation and learning. Five are secondary enablers of resilience, redundancy, rapidity, scale, diversity and flexibility and equality. The stronger these are, the more resilient a system will be and ICTs can both strengthen or weaken these attributes. To better understand the link to digital tech, I'm going to run through a practical project we undertook to see how ICTs could improve the resilience of coffee farming communities in eastern Uganda that are subject to the impact of climate change. The project involved three steps. In step one, we undertook interviews with community members in order to benchmark general resilience. The results are shown here. Rapidity is highest priority for intervention as that is the weakest. Redundancy is lowest priority, as that is the strongest. In step two, we undertook a community survey to benchmark e-resilience, meaning we measured the extent to which ICTs were currently helping to strengthen each attribute. The results are shown here. Robustness is the highest priority for action, as that shows least contribution of ICTs. Self-organisation is the lowest priority, as that shows the greatest contribution. Of ICTs. In step three, we put the results from steps one and two together to work out the combined priority for future application of ICTs towards building resilience in these communities. An example of the results is shown here. Scale was a high priority from the step one assessment and a medium priority from the step two assessment. So overall, for example, it was a high priority for future action. Examples are given in the table of the ICT interventions that are needed to strengthen scale, such as linking the farmers in the community to a national level famine early warning system that could provide them with information and help if weather problems were predicted to hit the community. Resilience will be central to future development plans, meaning there's an exciting research and practice agenda working out how ICTs can best be used to increase the resilience of communities, organisations, supply chains and nations. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT for DE textbook. And thank you for watching.